Chevy Sonics uh, and Cruises have an open radiator system that allows air in and air out. So there's no burping when you go to fill the radiator up. But we're gonna go over the technique that is required here and set up by the factory. If you're not used to this kind of system, it may be a little different than anything you've ever done before. This is the only thing we have access to is the overflow. And as you can see, there is a little outlet tube here that goes in. This is to allow pressure when it's too much in there. Um, basically, it's an open system. You can still have problems when you go to open this up if you hear a hiss. So you need to make sure everything's cold when you do it. But we just drain the radiator for a repair. So uh, we have nothing in here. We're going to go ahead and fill it all the way up. The first step is to just know where the fill line is and fill it up uh, up to the point where the fill line is with the engine off and everything cool. And you see this part line, that part line on the side is actually where the line is. It is up to the part line on the reservoir. Unlike a closed system where you have to put an airtight funnel into the system, into the radiator and make sure you get all the air bubbles out, this system is completely different. You just use a regular funnel and we're gonna fill this until we get it up to that part line on the tank. It's going to take a lot because it's going to drain down into the engine since we dumped everything. I can hear it burbling down. You see there's bubbles coming up here. This is as it's going into the hoses. But because it's an aired open system, we're not worried about any bubbles or air in here. We want dead space inside. We can still see the bubbles. Everything is filling down into it. Now, once the bubbles stop and we have our fluid back to that part line. What we'll do is start the engine with this off and that will draw more antifreeze into the engine. And then we'll do that until the radiator hoses get hot. We'll shut it down. We'll check the levels and uh, we'll do it again. We'll have to maybe do it two or three times to get it full. Still getting air in the line, bubbling out. And you can see it's dropping down there about a half inch so I can put some more in. Now we're gonna start it up with the cap off, caps off, and that will push through the system, spray it into here and it'll flush everything through. Okay, it's starting to warm up. Hoses are getting warm. And you can see that we still have air bubbles coming through and it's settling back down to where it should be. Once everything gets hot, we'll shut it down, let it cool off, close the cap, and then let it sit for about 30 to 40 minutes and then start the process over. All right, so the car has been sitting, it's cooled off and uh, the system is all pressurized, but we're gonna do the same thing uh, over again. We're gonna release the pressure, remove the cap, start it up, and give it a little bit of gas, let the system run through, get out any remaining air bubbles, and then top it off, and then get the car up to temp to make sure we're all good to go and there's no leaks and everything's fine. That's it, it's actually pretty simple once you get to that point. Make sure you, after you drive it for a while, you wanna check your radiator level again and just follow the same procedure. Uh, make sure you're topped off. But an open system like this is actually really simple to finish off and make sure that you don't have any air in the system. That's it, I'm finally he sleeps. As long as you guys keep showing up, I'll keep making videos.